Yo guys and girls, my name is Nomad and today we have a very exciting video for you all. Recently we've been in contact with the new owner of a site very local to ourselves called Better Battles Airsoft. We have offered our platform to help promote the site as we believe it has extremely high potential. The main reason we are so excited for this site is the fact it is the only outdoor CQB site in Nottinghamshire and even in the middle. With me on the overview we have Ben aka Judge and the site owner Richard. As I mentioned, Better Battles is a site very local to ourselves as it is located just off the A38 in Ravenshead opposite a small local pub. Some people this site may also be known as MCG Ravenshead as the lad who owned it before was the owner of Matlock Combat Games and the site capacity is between 30 to 40 people and is open every other Sunday. After chatting with Rich, uh, we did mention a few refurbishments which needed to be made and he has assured us that they'll be done as soon as possible. Uh, these are through no fault of anyone, just our areas have weathered over time and a little bit of TLC will sort it all out. Now let's get on with the map breakdown. This area was a central base with a small dugout and a variety of kill holes pointing off into different directions, offering cover to potential defenders. The main spots to cover on this location is front and back, so there is still weakness to be overrun from both sides. What are your rules on pyros in here? Oh. Uh, pyros are alright. Okay, sweet. Because uh, smokes are a bit. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, at the minute, yeah. What more can you possibly say about the maze? There are plenty of entrances and plenty of exits, which is able to be utilised by anyone. Plenty of corners to hide and get some sneaky kills if that's the style of the game that you're into, or you can be an absolute maniac and make it as fast paced as you like. This area is one that can suit all preferences. The maze worked because I'm lost. <laughs> Definitely worked. It's done its job. What, um, when you do look at From our conversations with Richard, there was no confirmed game mode for the site. However, there is talk of potentially expanding it up past the trench. However, no details have been confirmed for these. Okay. It doesn't go too far up, it's just. About another 100 yards. Oh, decent. Nice. God. It's actually a very decent sized site as well. I say it's not overly big, but big enough. <laughs> the trench is elevated from the rest of the major locations of Better Battles Ursa and is surrounded by a fair amount of solid cover to assist the defending team in holding their ground from the assaults of the majority of different angles available. I can imagine some really good objective-based game types as well. Like capturing this area and they have to come up this hill. Yeah, yeah. Things like that, yeah. A lot of variety you can have as well. It could be great. Straight down. Yeah, I can imagine this being a... This, in my spot. opinion, looked like the most interesting and the spot which relied most on teamwork of, out of them all. It's a small area similar to Invasion at Skirmish Woodland. However, there is only one entrance to this area. All defenders can dig in and easily hold the spot with good teamwork. On the other hand, this site also requires solid teamwork and communication on the attacking side to be able to clear it all out. Oh wow. As you can see in the footage, I was instantly interested in the elevated platform whilst Judge was looking around the rest of it. As mentioned earlier, this is one of the locations that needed refurbishment on the ladders. This is mint. <laughs> Yeah. You got some cover there too. Oh, it's insane. Especially this. I like it. Oh, it's up against this wall. Yeah. So you got this. Po you got someone pushing this way. This area has plenty of cover scattered around, from being inside of buildings to a mass amount of foliage surrounding it. However, due to its location being right up against the fence, this meant that the left-hand side was completely blocked off from attackers entering, which meant one less angle to cover. That was 
Jeez. Which, if you actually stand on top of there, and you be old. This was the final structure that we were shown, and it's a small base in the far bottom corner of the map. This has an elevated platform, oh, wow. and the main feature is to lay suppressing fire down onto an attacking team. Quite a lot of angles as well. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, I've got quite another ball on that. Oh, yeah. It's slapped the rock through, I think. I think it's been there about nine years. So. All in all, we think this site has a hell of a lot of potential to become a top site within the Midlands and even maybe within the UK. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. and Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like, comment and subscribe. And hit the bell button to be notified when, we, when new videos are released. All link for Battle Battles Airsoft and our socials are in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next week.